all right guys um <laughs> real quick so today we're uh doing some shopping look even got the baby carrier on so i'm carrying riff when we were shopping but um i went to lowe's and i got some wood to i think i'm gonna put a shelf up in the front of that little enclosed trailer and i don't want to take the shelves out of my other trailer um so anyway so i went to lowe's and i i was i was like surely if i cut it in three pieces you know it'll fit all right guys what's up this is tony um i'm gonna make a shelf in the front of my new little trailer here's the trimmer racks um this bottom weed eater you know because i put a, a piece of three eighths plywood here so like it has the shelf has a little depth so i'll have to work around that i might have to like uh uh you know make a little partition here or something i mean this board is plenty low out of the way but i know that is something i'll have to deal with but that's okay um that's you know it's just something i'm gonna have to deal with anyway how i make these shelves is uh uh cut a cut a couple two by fours um i believe they're 38 inches in my case and uh I didn't want to remove these trim pieces, but they're not they're not exactly put on the straight, you know, like the same way here as there. So what I did is uh, you know, this line is pretty straight. Um so I took the board and I laid it on the ground and I put it right up so the edge of the board was like touching that. Um and I did the same on the other side. So that way I could get them, you know, the same amount here because that's going to affect when you when you make your triangle deck piece. So I did that. Um, so that way, even though these trim pieces aren't put on the same, they're just kind of put on there randomly. Um, it's very close uh, from there to there. And uh, how I mount these is I uh, see I make little I just measured from here to here you can see the trim piece is pretty straight that way but i measured you know from there um down by where the board's gonna go and made a mark and then same over here see there's my mark for where the stud is you know very very close approximately and then um i hold the board uh where i want to go and i drill two holes uh just into the the wood at first just into the wood at first um on both and then take the board off and then finish drilling into uh finish drilling into the studs okay uh, without the board there without the board there then it's you know easy to get in the studs because the drill bit probably not going to reach you know all the way through this wood through the two by four and stud so anyway so then you take that board away then finish drilling into the stud do the same over here and then then you can put your screws back in your two by four and have them sticking out of the back a little bit and uh you put that first screw in the hole that you already made and it'll get real hard where you get to the stud part and then it'll get easy it's fastened in same over there and that's how you mount those two and then and then this one, you just measure from this outside wall right here to there to there. Put it and you just, I got two screws. You know, they're just, they're just into the corner of this board. Um, what you know, it's, you know, if you're going to put crazy weight on here, um, you know, you may need to do something more substantial than that. But... Um, even if you're setting a backpack blower up here, gas cans, whatever like that, this is plenty strong enough because it's a triangle and then you're decking and that's going to spread the weight all around. Plus it's in the studs. I mean, these things are very strong. This is how I made all of the shelves in my trailer. This is my fourth, fourth, fourth shelf that I made. Uh, one in my old six by 12, the, you know, the heavy trailer with the big V nose and, uh, I'll put a link in that. I'll put a link in the description to that video 
Um, because that was the first shelf I made, and so it's interesting to watch that. And then, as you all know, I got the double shelf in the 7x14 trailer. And then, so I'm making this. I had to... I thought I thought I had a spare 2x4 that was long enough for this part, but I didn't. Um, it was just a little short. So I had to steal this off of the stick rack that I used for the storms. Have y'all, As y'all have seen on my truck plenty of times on my Ford. Um, maybe I'll put a link in the description for that too on how I made those. Stuff. So I had to steal a middle board off of that and I'll have to just put one back on the stick rack because I didn't want to have to go to the store and, and get another board. So. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then, sorry, I know this video is getting stretched out, but it will help you guys if you want to make it, make a shelf. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to get my, my uh, piece of plywood, and then you just measure, you know, from that end to that end, and then you got to figure, you know, and then, uh, so about, you know, one or two inches up, on the edge and same over there and then up here you find somewhere kind of in the middle best you can you know and so it'll be you know three inches or whatever and then so from from this up the edge and then from the two inch to this three quarter you know do the same over there and uh and you take that three inch swath and you have to do the you know do the math on the on the both of the the plywood so that this three inches is right in the middle and then you just take your chalk line snap a line to that edge of the three inch snap a line and uh you put up in here and it will it won't it won't fit perfect you're gonna have to i mean it'll be very close but you know you're gonna have to take it back out you know five or eight times and you know just do a little trimming and um but it does work, and um, so you can either use the long piece of the the uh, plywood, or in my case, you know, sometimes you just I use the four foot, you know, like the plywood would be up this way, cut that, and use the four foot uh, sections as y'all seen uh, in the first part of this video in the car, and um, and then so uh, so what it does is uh, you know, you're gonna have you're gonna have cut off and then, uh, but see since it's four feet, I'm gonna have like a extra gap right here. But then I'm gonna use these, the the corner pieces, cause see it's a consistent, it's a consistent angle. So these pieces that I'm uh, cutting off up at the top part of the plywood, I can flip those over, you know, maybe trim them up a little bit and stuff and boom, those go right here. And uh, so that works. And then I'm gonna just cut like a six or eight inch strip of plywood. And just put it right along here and screw into this and that way you know you have a lip on your shelf and that way the shelf will be six inches deep or whatever and that's pretty much it um you know the plywood part that's kind of a, a little bit of a pain you know making this deck part but you can do it it's just going to take like even me i'm doing it with a four foot sheet so i'm going to have to you know it's going to stop like right here so i'm going to have to do a little uh math on that you know, because just figure out where four feet is and then do that. But I've done it. That's why I've done it with my 7 by 14 It does work. It just, you know, take a little extra time. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you guys once I uh, get all finished. Oh, and then also back there, I'm going to put my board right there with the blower hook and then a thing right here to hold the tube, just like I did in my other trailer. And um, But this shelf will be nice because um, that way all the stuff that's in the passenger seat of my truck, you know, the... Um, my tool socket set, my tools and gloves and two cycle oil and you know all that extra belt for the mower, you know miscellaneous tools, hand pruners, all that stuff can just throw in here. So that's what I want. So I'll show you guys in, after I get done. All right, guys, I want to show you what I mean on that last part. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. Um, but so what I'm gonna do since I have a four foot sheet, you see it doesn't doesn't work but what you have to do is measure this side measure that side so I got nine three quarters over here and nine three quarters over here and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure like like this you're gonna act like this is the edge for now even though the edge is over here you're gonna act like this is the edge 
for temporarily. And so I'm going to go down here and, you know, and measure like, I don't know, six inches up here, you know, whatever that is. I have to, I haven't measured yet. I'll measure it in a minute. And then make that arc from there. And then you take the slack pieces and work on just, you know, and filling in this. So that's what I mean by that. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. Is that way you can use a four foot um, wide sheet, which you may just, you, you guys might just use the, you know, the long ways of the two of the plywood, which is totally fine. But, um. But anyway, I had to cut this in sections to fit in the car, so I'm going to do it this way. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to do that. And, uh, and what I'm actually going to do is just, I just draw it on here. You know, like, figure out, okay, six inches. And I go up, six inches, make a mark. Over there, boom. You know, and then I'll do, do, do the math and put that three-inch thing right here. And, uh, yeah, I'll, let's keep moving. Alright guys, uh, here's a, something I want to mention too, like I just made a mistake. Um, so, I did what I was saying, I measure, you know, did like that, but one thing I forgot to do, is I forgot to measure from right here, to, to right here, you know, this depth. So, you need to cut your plywood the correct length that way, first, and then cut that because because I didn't do that because this was already cut in small piece so I didn't think about that so I just did the four inches up there and then you know nine inches here so that is the right angle if if the piece is the correct length from there to there so I you know I can shorten this down you know but see i don't think the angle is going to work because that changes when you bring it down like the angle should be in more if the if that was down more so which thankfully you know i have a couple pieces so it's not a big deal but you know i just thought i'd mention that so um because like i said even if i cut this it's not going to be able to make up that much error you know so which is fine i'll use this piece for for doing you know uh you know for making my trim you know pieces because uh you know i'll cut a couple different uh not trim but you know the lip pieces so even if it's two separate pieces you know it's totally fine so probably cut a couple pieces of that out of this board all right guys there's a the finished product okay Looking real good, looking real good. Great, handy shelf. Now my floor's clean down here, you know, where the gas can stuff here. I mean, there's still more stuff I'm gonna put up there, but now that's clean. Also, another thing I did today is uh, put this, another piece of wood, so you have two pieces of wood to give it strength. And uh, so I put another 3 8 sheet of plywood, and then I put two of these hooks tornado hooks i drilled two more holes it only comes with two holes you know in these big ones for drywall but so i put two more and um so that's great i put two that way it supports you know on two different ones i i've used on my old trailers i've just put one of these and it's worked fine but um but two is is probably really good and i just put another piece of wood here and just just one of these simple little little things you screw in this is not really really strong but you know it just it's just for holding the tube out of your way that way you can pull the mower so guys it's looking great oh man sorry the lighting's kind of weird today you know the sun and stuff but it works good works great and then um i don't know if i mentioned this earlier in the video i may have but i use three inch exterior screws um for for uh for going to those for you know going to the studs and stuff just so you know i mean these ones are just one inch but um just in case y'all want to know what screws it is milwaukee lights great um let me go i can go show you what screw exactly i use i'll do that so see like these right here i love the t25 bit is great um and I do drill a hole first, as you can see, but yeah, these is what I use. They're for, uh, you know, like exterior or something. 
See like these, this is an old box of other ones I had exterior. See I got some random ones in there, but that's broken, I need to clean that up. Um, but anyway guys, that's my trailer shelf. And uh, yeah, it's gonna work great. You, any of you guys can do this, your trailer, it's not hard. Cause you know, I'm not like good uh, handyman or anything. But um, you know, just take your time with it and you can do it. So we'll catch you later.